to us. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. Yeah, we were sold to the nations. All right, so just in case, a lot of people think think Israelites are the so-called white man. What, what so-called white man was sold to the nation? All right, there's no, Euro, there's no European, there's no French, no German. None of them were ever sold to the nations. We're the only people that were sold to the nations, man. So how can you say that Israel, uh, the, the Israelites in Atlanta, they are the real Israelites? They were never sold to nobody, man. All right, you got to deal with facts, man. It's out there, plain, plain as day. Okay, go ahead. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. Not for our destruction, go ahead. But because you moved the Most High to wrath. Because we moved the Most High to wrath. This thing is spiritual. How we, how we move the Most High to wrath, go ahead. You were delivered unto the enemies, for go. he provoked them that made you by sacrificing unto devils by, and not to the Most High. By sacrificing unto devils and not to the Most High. So you can't sit there and say that Easter is harmless. Easter is uh, one of the reasons why we're in the ghettos. Easter is the reason why cops is, is, is patrolling and making sure we're oppressed, okay? Easter is all a part of that, man. And guess what? The high-ranking white people know that, man. Them Freemasons, those, those uh, Illuminati Incorporated people, they know about that. So they, and they, they teach us to do wickedness so the Most High don't have our backs, okay? The Most High, they know the Most High is all that how he operates. The scriptures tell you that. That they sit there and teach us to do wickedness and then they'll turn around and go pray to the most high be like, look at your people. You know? That's a high ranking people, man. Talking about the, the DuPonts, the Gettys, the Rothschilds. Okay, we're talking about them. Not not uh Bill Clinton you know, and Barack Obama. They ain't number puppets, man. Alright? You have forgotten the everlasting God that brought you up. You have greed Jerusalem that nursed you. Yep, we greed Jerusalem that nursed us, man. We lost our way as a people. But go ahead, give me that in the Old Testament. I know it's kind of passe. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4 and 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my power commanded me. Yeah, the Lord taught us statutes and judgments. What is that? The whole Bible. That's why we understand it. That's why we go so hard behind the, the, the Bible and worshiping God, man. All right, go ahead. That, that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. That, that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. All right, in the land whether we go to possess it, which is mainly Jerusalem, okay, or the Middle East. That was our land. It's still our land, and we're going to get it back, okay? Go ahead. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Yep, the, the Bible, the law, statutes, and commandments that the Most High gave us, that's our wisdom, and that's our understanding in the sight of the nations. Go ahead. We shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Yep, go ahead. For what nation is there so great? What na that what makes us great is the Bible. Following the Bible. All right, not keeping it on, on your shelf. And then blow dust on it, blow dust off it, on Easter Sunday, okay? That's that's not that that's not the, our greatness in the sight of the nations, okay? Because if you look on these in, on the internet, like I said, YouTube and all these other internet sites, our people are acting like animals, man. And, and look at the amount of people that celebrate Easter. If the Lord was dealing with Easter, our people would be great in the sight of the nations, okay? Not not looking like uh, uh, coons. And savages, man. Okay? Shaking and spazzing out in church. You know how people won't be doing all that foolishness, man. If the Lord was dealing with Easter and Christmas and all that, man. Alright, go ahead. <clears throat> Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statues and say, Surely, oh Salaki, I'll come back up. For what nation is there so great? Who at the most high so nigh unto them? As the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for. That's right. All right. So people, our people won't be so great, but they're trying to do it in a shortcut. There ain't no shortcut to being great. The most high got a one-way ticket to being great on this planet Earth, and that's keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. 
that's period, man. You 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 want to you want to get riches the the uh, the dirty way? Do you want to look good the dirty way? Okay, think that make you look good, but at the at the really if you take a step back, you're like an animal, man. Okay, go ahead. You got something? Yeah, I'm a, uh, I just want to finish it off. Okay. And what nation is there so great that had statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Only take heed to thyself and keep thou and keep thy soul diligent, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from the from thy heart all the days of thy life, but but teach them to thy sons and thy sons' sons. Your son, son. What's up, your mom's okay. or your Christian, your personality. God telling y'all to do that? He telling y'all y'all look like a hot fool. <laughs> I know. Hey, I can't knock y'all, man. Y'all doing just right. I'm, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Man. I love all my black people. You're all, you all right, man. All right. You all right. Can you give me love? I'm trying. Okay, man. <laughs> I bet you get one of these hunkies to death before you do your own kind. Hell no. We just yeah, get cool, man. And I can see all through all y'all. I didn't bear y'all before I even hit this corner. I don't know what you want to do, bro. Yeah, right. I hope God bless y'all to make it home tonight. Read that in Corinthians. Read that in Corinthians. Read that in Corinthians. Food for the Lord's sake. Because he said, he said we out here looking like a hot fool. Yeah, you're right. We are. All right. <laughs> that's, that's, how, that's, that's, that's from Easter, man. Right there. I'm telling you, though. It's like no matter how. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21. For after that, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. It pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching. Yeah, we're, what we're doing right now is preaching. It pleased the Most High. He said, we're like a hot fool. It pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching. Uh -uh, yeah, yeah, no. right there. Watch right quick. I'm going to the corner store. This is, come on, man. Come on, man, but I actually you watch a bottle. I understand I that. I bet you if I tell y'all motherfuckers to watch a dick, y'all watch a dick sack. <laughs> <laughs> that is a plain as faggot, man. All right, but that's, that's thing number Satan, man. We say, we say that this, is, this thing is spiritual, okay? <laughs> this is not a physical battle. It's a spiritual battle, man. Satan just walked by. All right, twice. In the flesh. <laughs> In the flesh. All right? So our people don't understand that, man. You, you got you to... Gotta, you got to be protected by the Lord, man. All right? But read that. First Corinthians 1 and 21. For after that, in the wisdom of in the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. It pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. That's right. Good being fooled right now because I could be at home eating. All right? I could be at home in in cool, comfortable environment, but by... The spirit of the Lord went out here to wake up our people. All right, that 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 nigga ain't doing nothing for nobody. Power to the people. What are you talking about? What are you doing for the people, man? All right, only thing he's doing for the people is creating a stereotype for these police to continue to hack us up in in the ghetto. You know, that's all he's doing. That's a, that's a lot of people that are like that. He's just out there with it. You know. You got something? All right, get, let's get, no, we, today. All right, let's get back to that uh, article. All right. Okay, we're going to get back to this article, man. That's <laughs> Satan, though, man. All right, this is an uh, article from DemonBuster.com titled, uh, Easter, Why You Should Not Be Observing It. Yeah. Uh, this is Easter Sunday. I always thought it was strange that Easter came on, different, on a different day each year. If Christ arose on March 10th, that would be the anniversary every year. But I found that Easter's date is established by astrology according to the vernal equinox. The spring festival of pagan worship of the sun and of the sun and the renewal season was also set on the same day. Yeah, did we read earlier that, that Easter is sun worship? You can read that in Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 10. Okay, that they worship the sun. The sun god Tammuz. Okay, go ahead. The Druids had a sacred symbol, an egg. The word Easter comes from the name of a pagan goddess, goddess of rising light, of day and spring. Easter is the modern form of Astarte, Ostara, Astarte, or Ishtar. Another name for Astarte is Diana of, Eu of uh, Eu Euphrates. Paul shut them down 
about uh, selling the items Queen Diana. That's the axe, huh? Oh, her axe. Because Diana, Queen Diana, is a fertility god, right? It's dealing with having babies, okay? Which is the egg, the seed, okay? Go ahead. It says, uh, Easter in the King James Bible means Passat or Passover. It means Passover. Now you, like we said earlier, Easter is in the Bible, but they changed that. All right, they put that there. So if you look up the definition of that word Easter in the Greek, it's going to say Passat, and the word Passat means Passover. It doesn't mean Easter. We wasn't celebrating no Easter. They put that there for confusion, man. All right, go ahead. A start day was hatched from a big egg which fell from heaven. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's what people worshiping right now. When you got to go find that egg, all right, basically that comes from Egypt with Isis and Horus. All right, she believed her, she, she, had, she had immaculate conception and, and the egg came down from out of space and, and she was impregnated, all right, and she had a child, Isis, all right, and the child loved rabbits, okay, and, and basically they sacrificed him, they chopped his body up, all right, and spread him across the four corners of the earth, and they had to bring, uh, they had to bring all his uh, body parts, no, no, Isis was the, uh, Egypt. yeah, it's Egyptian, Isis was the uh, husband, okay, and he believed himself to be a god, so they chopped him up, eventually they chopped him up, spread his body apart, they found all his body parts, except for his, his, uh, his rod, or his, his penis. So they put a golden phallus on it, his wife, and she rode him and said she had an immaculate conception, which her son was Horus, okay? Therefore, that's how you get Easter, all right? With the immaculate conception, that's why they gather the eggs, they look for eggs, they basically look for Isis body parts, okay? That's what that commemorates, all right? And you can look, just look it up, okay? Go ahead. Druids, Satan worshipers, in Europe, use eggs as a symbol of, of sexual significance. Of sexual significance. It's a fertility guide. It's about sex. Okay? Oh, oh wait. Uh, I skipped the line. My bad. Uh, eggs as a symbol of goddess of spring. The rabbit is associated with the moon in ancient Egypt. It is a fertility symbol of sexual significance. Yep. So, you got that? Yeah, that's Queen Diana, or the, the goddess Diana was a fertility guide. Okay, that our people used to worship when we was in Rome. Okay, go ahead. No, I... This is Acts 19, verse 21. After these things were ended, Paul proposed in the spirit when he had passed through Macedonia and Achaia to go to Jerusalem, saying, After I have been there, I must also see Rome. So he went unto Macedonia, two of them, that minister unto him, Timotheus and Erastus. But he himself stayed in Asia for a season. At the same time, there arose no, no more uh, small stir about that way, for a certain man named Demetrius, a silversmith, which made silver shrines for Diana, brought no small gain unto, unto the craftsmen. So basically, there was a guy, a, a silversmith, making deities, idols. And people buy that. It's the same today. What, what is what is that Sin Silversmith? That's Target. Alright? That's Walmart. Okay? They make money off you. Of course, you're worshiping something that don't exist. You're spending money on foolishness, man. But you can keep that money and pay bills. Or buy your kids something productive. Alright? Besides a, a church fit that he only gonna wear that one day. Buy him a handful of bubble gum. Alright? And think he's all right, man. You ain't doing nothing but letting demons get on your child, man. Okay? Sacrificing your child to uh, to, to devils. Okay? But then you go to church and praise the Lord. All right? Then you know what that's called? It's called hypocrisy, man. The Lord despises hypocrites, man. All right? Go ahead. Whom he called together with the workmen of like occupation and said, Sirs, you know, you know that by this crime we... We have our wealth. Moreover, we see and hear that not, not alone in Ephesus, but almost throughout all Asia, which Paul persuaded and turned away much people, saying that these be no gods.